Hello everyone, it's Louisa, and today's video is another Malik Adventures collaboration series video, and this time we're talking about Sleeping Beauty! If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate the support. And if you're new around here, hi! My name is Louisa, and I'm just a gal who loves to incorporate her childhood loves and hobbies into her adult lifestyle. And one of those loves is Disney. So, as I said, this is another one of the Melic Adventures collaboration series videos. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, the Melic Adventures uh, are a wonderful YouTube channel. Absolutely love Ben and Danielle. And they put these on um, normally twice a month, and they will have a theme normally it's a Disney movie, sometimes has a holiday theme or a specific type of merchandise theme, but you can do whatever you want for that particular collab. So if you want to bake, you can bake, you can craft, you can show your collection, lots of options. So today we are talking about Sleeping Beauty, which I think is a wonderful movie. I loved watching it as a kid. Uh, I love the music from it. And it's also a collection that I have. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my full Sleeping Beauty collection today. I'm super, super excited. I will say this at the end of the video as well, but there are other participants that are participating in this particular collab so be sure to check out Ben and Danielle and everyone else's videos down in the description box below but let's go ahead and get on into it we're gonna start with the lounge fly because those of you who frequent my channel know that I like to keep my collections in a lounge fly bag or a backpack of some sort so this is the one I have I just have one lounge fly for Sleeping Beauty and it is the three fairies I love this bag I think it's the most beautiful thing ever um the only thing that startles me a little bit is I feel like fauna is a little a little loose but other than that I just oh, I love this bag so much it makes me so happy. I love the glitter. Love this bag. And this is so pretty that I would never actually wear it in the parks. So that's why it's good to hold my collection because it's more of a decor piece, at least in my eyes. It's too pretty to ruin. So there we go. And then this is actually pretty recent. I did a figural bag clip trade and I got Prince Philip or traded for Prince Philip. So love it. Really cute. And now we open her up and a good chunk of my collection is in this backpack. So once we've opened the backpack, um, I forgot that I actually have this lounge fly coin purse, little coin wallet. Um, it's of them meeting in the woods once upon a dream. And um, I forgot that I had this, but yes, I have this super cute, love it go team. Alrighty, so I have figures. So I think that's the next category of this collection I'm going to do. So the only Sleeping Beauty Funko that I have is this one from the Disney Princess collection. And this is Briar Rose. And oh, her hair, gosh, one of the main reasons I love Princess Aurora slash Briar Rose slash Sleeping Beauty, she has so many names. Um, I just think she has the most gorgeous hair. I've always been jealous of this hair. Hair goals, like look at those curls. Oh my God. But uh, this is the only Sleeping Beauty Funko that I have. So I do have some Sleeping Beauty Dorables. Um, this is from the Moments series, I think. Um, but Moments series two, but it's where it's like you're creating a scene from the movie. So here's the scene. And then you put the owl guy in here. Ah! <laughs> Anytime I actually move this thing is so annoying or I have to like reset it up. It is just a pain and the buttocks. Um, not, not a fan. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And the owl's gone. So yeah, this, this series is really annoying. Love the concept, but I think I'm gonna declutter this soon because this that was really annoying and just yeah I give up I'm done <laughs> I also have um, kind of the Disney comics 
um, a little figurine of Sleeping Beauty in the blue, her Princess Aurora. Again, hair goals. She's just so pretty. She is definitely the Disney princess I most want to look like. As a little girl and as now. So that is everything I actually have in the backpack, but we're gonna transfer into pins because also in the backpack is this lanyard, um, which is full of Aurora pins, uh, Sleeping Beauty pins, if you will. And then I also have the pins uh, over here. I have some Sleeping Beauty pins over here. So we're just gonna go through this, but I got this lanyard recently. I think it was for the 50th, 60th. I don't know. Um, I feel like this just got released recently. I got it from Box Lunch like this year. Um, and I had so many Sleeping Beauty pins that I was like, yes, I would love a lanyard for these pins. So this is a lounge fly lanyard, very pretty. Um, so this lanyard just has, just has Aurora by herself, objects that represent Aurora by herself, and then a few other ones like lounge fly ones. Um, and then hers with Prince Philip are over there. So I'm gonna go into a slow-mo now or give you guys a more up close uh, look at all the pins in my Sleeping Beauty collection now. Actually going to talk about clothing next so I'm actually basically wearing all the clothing I have uh, so up here we have the Disney princess ears these are official um, park ears um, by the tag but I believe these are like just called Disney princess ears on the side they say dream big princess um, but with the crown I just automatically think these are auroras because the tiara the crown is the nostril crown as some people call it so it's aurora's <laughs> so i just automatically assume that these are sleeping beauty ears even though they have the names of the other princesses on there but i have this pair of ears and then also the shirt i'm wearing ta-da it is like splattered paint um, and then it has the crown and then it has pink and blue splotching on the pocket. And this is from Once Upon a T-shirt. Um, I will have them linked down below, but they are very famous for um, kind of these pocket, uh, pocket tees that are Disney related. So I will have them linked in the description below. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the sticker sheets or sticker page layouts in my Disney junk journal that are specifically for Princess Aurora Sleeping Beauty. Um, I'm going to give you guys an up close look at my Sleeping Beauty wall decor over there in that section of my room. And that is everything that is in my Sleeping Beauty collection as of... November 2024. I had to think about, I'm like, where are we in the timeline? That's where we're at. Um, but anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was really nice to actually look at my collection in full and be like, oh, this is all that I have. Um, I really love 
Sleeping Beauty as a movie and Princess Aurora is in my top three princesses. So big, big fan. And Prince Philip's pretty great. The movie's funny, visually stunning, music's great. Yeah, <laughs> don't mind my dog snoring. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below what was your favorite item. I would be curious to know. And be sure to check out everyone else's videos that is participating. All of the channels are going to be linked in the description below. If you want more of me, thank you, I'm flattered, you can find me on Instagram at louisa.ruby and on TikTok at wheezequeen3. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all again soon with a brand new video. Bye! BRB, gotta go declutter this thing. Ay caramba.